The Battle of Largs in 1263 is commemorated by a monument known as the Pencil. This monument is in the shape of a cylinder with a cone on top. The cylinder part has diameter 3 metres and height of 15 metres. Calculate the volume of the cylinder part of the pencil. The volume of the cone part of the pencil is 5.7 cubic metres. Calculate the total height of the pencil. The Battle of Largs in 1263 is commemorated by a monument known as the pencil. This monument is in the shape of a cylinder with a cone on top. The cylinder part has diameter 3 metres and height 15 metres. Calculate the volume of the cylinder part of the pencil. The volume of the cone part of the pencil is 5.7 cubic metres. Calculate the total height of the pencil. Well, firstly we need to calculate the volume of the cylinder. So, volume of the cylinder is equal to pi r squared h. In this case we know that d, our diameter, is equal to 3. So the radius in this case is 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5 for your cylinder. So let's plug these values in. So it's pi times 1.5 squared times the height of the cylinder, which is 15. And if we work that out, we get an answer of 106.02, which we could just round to 106 metres cubed. So that's the volume of the cylinder. Now we work out the volume of the cone. So that's given by the formula a third pi r squared h. So we plug in the numbers, which is a third times pi, and the radius in this case is 1.5, so 1.5 squared times h. And we know that that equals 5.7 because we've been told that. So what we need to do now is rearrange this equation to find out what the height of the cone is. So we want to rearrange this equation. So to get rid of the third, if we multiply both sides of the equation by 3. So 3 times a third pi times 1.5 squared times h equals 3 times 5.7. So on the left hand side the 3 and a third will cancel. 3 times 5.7 equals 17.1. So now we want to leave h on its own, so if we divide both sides by pi over 1.5 squared, so we're left with h, so that will cancel with that equals 17.1 over pi times 1.5 squared. So we get an answer of 2.419, so we can just round that to 2.4 metres for our height. So 2.4 metres is the height of the cone, plus the 15 metres for the cylinder part gives a total height of the pencil. Add these two together. The height of the cone, 2.4 metres, plus your 15 millimetres for your cylindrical part, would give a total of 17.4 metres. So that's our total height, that's our final answer.